when assembling a VCOR 3, is a VCOR 3 3.1 or enclosure uh, V2. This is the way I assemble my belts. I do it in the opposite order uh, in relation to the to the manual. I start by uh, inserting the belt in the in the tensioners and just start the screw to keep them in place. Then I put the, the belt inside the, the front carriage and for the the initial preload to have it uh, slightly more or less balanced. What I do is I push the carriage to the front and check if both sides are touching the, the front plate, the idler's plate. If, for example, the right side is not touching, I have to, to tighten just a bit the right side. The goal here is to have the belts in the back just uh, vertical. If they are uh, flopping a bit and going down, just uh, give it uh, a, a pull. You can use the teeth uh, on the on the belt to have a, a reference. Just one teeth, one tooth, sorry, and use a paper clip to hold it in place. Hold it. Push back to relieve a bit of the tension and spread it all the way. Check if both sides are touching. In my case, the left side is not touching. Just another click, another tooth. And hold it. Push back again. Okay, they are both touching, so more or less the tension is equal on both on both belts. Then I proceed to clamping the belts in the front with the belt clamps. Leave it uncut for now, in case you have to just tighten a bit more or you, you have to release just a bit. After assembling everything, I use a, a box cutter and cut it flush with the clamp.